So I've got this this um, window sash we're gonna hang here, and we're gonna put the cranks on it. Okay. Or we got pulleys on. So we painted this. I'm gonna. I got a got some paint build up here. So I'm gonna take the paint build up off if I can with my chisel. Ah, so pin goes up. Let's see. This goes up. Oh. So nice. Okay. Boom. Love it. Take one. All right. So here's the other thing too. I wanted to. This is. A, I want to show this guy. All right. This guy, it's really cool. I mean, this is a cobalt, but I mean, that, that means it's available at Lowe's. You better get it right now because I've had one of these like probably 10 or 15 years ago and then I couldn't find them for who knows how long, but look, this is the beauty of it. Boom, see that? It's got a uh, self-centering hinge bit so that you can stick it on there and see how it's doing like that? Drill your hole. Okay, and it centers your hole in your hinge. You know, that's the one I just did right there. Okay, and, and then you can flip it around, put your screw tip in, and put your screw right in place, okay? Real important. There we go. Now, I, th I think it's an invaluable tool to, you know, when you're, um, hanging doors or hanging casement sashes and stuff like that. Anytime a, a hinge is involved, you know, you want to, you want to have a VIX bit so that you can quickly drill your holes in place without even thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. So now I've got that here. So now I've got this guy here. Let's set this guy on its edge while we're right here. See, when we, if you remember from the last video, we were fitting these, but now these have been painted. And what we have to do now is get the, uh, you know, the paint out of these corners here to make sure the hinge still fits. Anyway, also when you're hanging casement windows, especially new work in an old building, you need the ability to, uh, to be able to make changes, right? So if you drill all of your holes first and put your screws on, what if it's not right, right? What if you have to make an adjustment? Well, all your holes are in place and now um, the holes determine where your hinge goes, but if you have to move your hinge, then you have to fill your holes and then re-drill it and all this kind of stuff. So I like to drill one hole, make sure that's aligned. And then when that's good, okay, good. Then I can drill all, my, all the rest of mine, all the rest of the holes. I'll see if these are, this, these are about the same size as the brass screws, see they are, okay? Um, the stainless steel screws, I'm gonna use those to go in first. I'm gonna screw those in first to create a bigger hole um, so that I have more confidence when I put my brass screws in that they won't break, all right? So, so I got, my VIX bit here and I pre-drill my holes. You know, I can drive it in more confidently. Oh, did you hear that, that, that sound? That was a clutch going off. And it's not like an impact driver, right? An impact driver uses the impact to drive the screw in more heavily and harder, okay? This is not that. This is, um, the clutch is like skipping over the, um, the, you know, the part that would drive the screw in. So once it gets to a certain pressure, it starts to skip. And so that's, you use that to your advantage. I'm gonna put this screw in here, see how that works. Take the other one out. Nice. Okay, so there's that. Here we go. 
All right. Let me put this on. And hopefully, hopefully everything will be as we were hoping. It's almost in. Oh, I thought it was There it is. So that's installment number one on this video. Now we got to put the, um, what do you call this stuff? The crank, window crank. The crank hardware, okay? And that'll be in the next video. So um, it's perfectly, perfect opportunity because I feel a little cranky. 